a great local artist visiting us today. Let's welcome to the show, Montreal. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. I'm well and yourselves. So excited to have you with us today. Thank you for coming. Now, you are a complete artist, but you are part of the band. So I want to ask you first who you are with, uh, with us today, like if you can name all of them. And now, you're an RB soul artist and also jazz. Can you tell me what is your preferred style? I'd have to say jazz. <laughs> okay, I, really like I knew jazz. it. I we hear. jazz it all up. <laughs> Yes, um, today I have a huge band, but today I have my musical director, Tim Ferguson. He's okay. here, he's my pianist. Nothing pretty much moves without him. <laughs> uh, my saxophonist, Talton Manning, he's awesome. He's from Richmond also. He's a 757 oh. preferred person around here. Okay. And my drummer, Mr. Dion Langley, he's from Portsmouth and he runs the Lupus Foundation. I and they're that. pretty much my core and they make so me sound professional. <laughs> That's your family and friends. How right. I love that. Yeah, love I love that. Them. Thank you, guys. The family that plays together stays together, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and you just mentioned Portsmouth. Now, you played a major part in the Portsmouth jazz experience. Can right. you tell us more about that? Okay, I'm the co-founder along with Tim Ferguson, and I'm from Portsmouth. Mm -hmm. Music is our thing, so Be our... town Yes. <laughs> so um, one of our one of our um, mantras is bringing fine jazz to the community one note at a time. So it's about bringing people to the community um, through music, working class folks, um, people who love to go to restaurants, families, whatever, you know, because mm -hmm. everybody's not going to go, you know, to the hotels and to the lounges. But we can bring people together at the hotels here in the city of Portsmouth, you mm -hmm. know, the small little downtown areas, the restaurants. And that's what we do. We it. do awesome music. Classics. When do you, do you decide that you want to choose jazz from being an RB and other styles too? I would have to say it's just my it's just my thing. <laughs> it's just my it's just thing. Happy. Yeah, I just want that's what I always wanted to do. So we take a lot of songs, okay. whether they're rock classics, country or whatever, and we jazz them up. Yeah. I, I love, love that. That's what we do. We just jazz it up. And it could be something fusion. that's on the radio now. Right. Yeah, fusion. It's just a great fusion. I yeah. love that. Fusion. So you didn't choose jazz, jazz chose you. Jazz chose me. See? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Now, speaking of jazz and your style of music, do you have anything that you're working on? Do you have any new music coming out in the near future? We want to know everything. Yes. As a matter of fact, the song that we did today, Destiny Street. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, we're going to be out with that in a couple of months. So that's what we're doing. We that's have a project. New release, yeah. yeah. Oh, new okay. release. And everybody that's on the project is from the 757. Awesome. Now that you just mentioned that, I know you work with the communities very closely and you love to help the communities. So how is your involvement with them? Like, what do you do? Like, if people want to share and be part of this movement with you. Just give us a call. Um, look for us on Facebook. You can look for us on Instagram. Um, we're accessible, okay. all of us. Um, you can find all of our musicians on the Portsmouth Jazz Experience. We're really big on Facebook. Um, and what we do is if you have a cause and you want to come to us, mm -hmm. we love to have you. And we perform and just let people know just about the greatness of the community. And I music brings that. people together. That's, That's really it. cool. So yeah. anybody with a cause or a charity can reach out and you'll work with them. Right. Yeah, we do a lot of things for different politicians. It doesn't matter the, you know, the side you're on. We're about <laughs> bringing people together. That's all. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I love to ask all artists all, uh, all the time if you have any special moment that uh, you remember, something that happens to you in stage, or if you met someone, like something to say, like, I will never forget this time. Yes. Um, Tim and I, we were at um, <laughs> Varia. Years okay, ago, yeah, we, yeah. we did the opening there, and there was, a young, there was a young lady there. She was about 10 years old, and the memory came up on Facebook the other day. She drew the entire dining area. Really? She drew the piano. She drew, she drew the mic. She oh drew everything. God. Yes. That is so beautiful. I posted it on my Facebook did the other day. Did she give it to you? After? And she gave it to us. Oh, my God. How and cool she is that? She must have been cool. about 10. 10 years? She must have been about 10 years old. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, okay. That's awesome. So <laughs> you keep talking about Tim. And I have known Tim because he knows my mom. Right. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> um, she said that you all were playing at the Cavalier during the inaugural something in the water. Right. Did, how was that? How was that experience? That was awesome. That was Tim Talton and I, uh, the saxophonist. My saxophonist, he's awesome. And um, it was, oh, my gosh, I don't think we slept for three or four days. Oh, wow. Because we, we played 
all four days, we met a lot of different celebrities, all the people you know you want to see yes. and everything. That was pretty fun. <laughs> and then when I went home, I, I don't think I, I was so tired. Yes, the excitement, <laughs> I believe, is like Did a, you meet Jay-Z? I didn't meet Jay-Z, but they were about that far away from okay. me. I could see him so like you, that. But you can remember that day. Like, I was dead. I right. saw him. Yes. I was right there. I was a fan right. girl. That's as yes. close as I got. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with us thank today. You. We love you. And we invite everyone to follow her on social media. And right after the break, don't go anywhere because Montrose is going to be performing live right here on Living 757. Don't go anywhere.